can tell both of these fighters are exuding confidence as they touch gloves. And here we go. Alongside me is Johnny Nelson. Hi, Todd. Nice to be here with you. And now it's time for our tale of the tape. Alexander Usyk, six foot three and 198 centimeter reach. And facing him here is this man. Alexander Usyk. He's 6'3 with a 78 inch reach. There is no joke about this. Someone is going to get hurt, the other is going to get embarrassed. Let's make sure they measure up well. Alexander Usyk, the former undisputed cruiserweight champion and heavyweight champion of the world, fighting out of Ukraine. Alexander Usyk, the former undisputed cruiserweight champ. This bout is scheduled for eight rounds of boxing. Fighting out of the red corner, here is the Olympic gold medalist from Ukraine, an undisputed cruiserweight world champion, and a unified heavyweight champion of the world, Alexander Usyk. Fighting out of the blue corner, here is the Olympic gold medal. You can tell both of these fighters are exuding confidence as they touch gloves, and here we go. It's a privilege and an honor to be here. I feel so, so lucky to be sat here talking about something I love. The fans are ready, and it looks like the fighters. They ring the bell, and here we go. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. You'd like to see someone use a jab here to establish a boxing presence, but no, they just want to fight. Usually you don't have to worry about getting a sunburn when you're fighting Johnny, but that's certainly the case today with the sun blazing. So Todd, let me explain to you. We are outside. Nobody can turn the temperature down. Nobody can turn the sun down. When that sun's beating on you, when you're tired, when you're frustrated, when you're getting hit, when you're getting hurt, there's no cool fan that's dropping in there. This is where it's real fight and fight on fight. Tough to be a judge in this fight as both fighters have had their big moments. Neither one of them want this to go to the judges' scorecards. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. Not a lot of defense here at all. That right hook's already working well. These punches coming from every angle. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. This is the time that the trainer needs to come in and say something special. This fighter needs to turn the tables in this next round. The bell, sometimes it couldn't be the sweetest sound. Come on, suck it up, suck it up. Get your head switched on. Listen to me. Relax and breathe. Listen to me. You're not tired. You're acting like the gym. How much work have you put in the gym? All your training you've done, all your sacrifices you've done. Come on. You're not tired at all. You'll get your second win back out there. Just go out there now. I'm tired at all. You get. We're hoping for an all action slugfest. Not the start that they wanted, but let's see what they can do in this round. They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot. Jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then put the pressure on. Music might go down here. What an upset. But here we go again, back into the fire. It's been a tough round so far. It's been a tough, tough round. What did they do? What did they tell him when he went to the corner? How are they going to get through this?
counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. They have got great ring IQ. Counter punches are the best. Halfway through the round, and man, these two are going at it. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now, this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them. More than happy. Big shots from both of these fighters. Got to be careful, though. Misses with the jab. Every time they throw a shot, they get countered. Gets nothing but air on that left uppercut. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Well, he is glad to have heard that bell. Every second, every minute of this fight is important. Every second, every minute of this round is important. You cannot afford to lose it. Great round. Now relax. Don't be looking. Great work. Stay focused. Don't let back into the fight. He's ready to go. He's absolutely shattered. He's hurt. Don't give him no free shots. Keep smart. Good work. You was thinking. You were smart. You weren't loading up, but you're still landing your power shots. Good work. Don't forget the jab and don't get carried away. What you're doing, the gaps will. And there's the bell to start the round. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get suckered in. Make him fight your fight. Hold him. Tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. When you're fighting a counter puncher, the feint can be such a good weapon. Pretend you're going to punch, make the counter puncher throw a punch, and then you counter them. To beat a counter puncher, you've got to take them out of their pace. Do not wait for them, because if you wait, they'll pepper and pop you all night long. Rush them. This is with the straight left. Gotta like what you're seeing as we reach the halfway point of this round. When someone punches that hard, you don't want to trade shots. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. Needs to put some combination work together. One punch is good, two punches better. I'd like to see more jabs. That hook just can't find the target. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. is down big time on the scores. Needs a knockout without a doubt. Needs to go out there and think, right, you know what? Next round, you're getting it. You're going to get it. Kitchen sink. He's ready to go. Yes. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. Let's see how they bounce back here in this round. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet. Not until your senses have come back. Call it the glory division. There's nothing quite like a heavyweight fight. It doesn't take much to win it. Are we going to see a jab from these two? Both men step back for just a moment. He 
misses with that straight left. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. These are heavyweights, but I tell you what, that hand speed and footwork, they look like middleweights. What a gift. What a gift it is to have a chin where you know you can walk through anything and everything. When you let those shots go, and it's just bouncing up and they're walking you down. It's so demoralizing. It absolutely breaks your heart. What else can you do? Well, this won't sit well with their opponent. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Well, there was no doubt about who won that round. You can't leave it up. They ring the bell, and here we go. After a really strong round, let's see if they can finish the job. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. His jab just got blocked. He misses with that jab. They're both looking for the knockouts here, and that's what we expect from heavyweights. I've seen some fighters with a granite chin. You can hit them with a sledgehammer. They are not going to move. But then I've seen some mad punchers with a chin like a crisp. As soon as you touch them, they're gone. And this is the danger spot. What a round so far as we've reached the halfway point. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. Tried to score with the uppercut. Looking to land the hook. Gotta let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. Usyk! Usyk couldn't take anymore, and down he goes! One, two, three! He's been knocked down, but at least not knocked out. And there's the bell to start the round. He got knocked down in the last round. Let's see what he can do here. What a knockdown. One minute, you need one hour to get over a shot like that. Now it's down to conditioning. Now it's down to mental strength and preparation. It's how you are going to do with this. Think of what we've seen so far from these two boxers, Johnny. God, you know what? Sometimes when I've got in the ring with fights like that and you punch them, you just want to run. You want that spaceship to come and lift you out of there because you think, what the hell am I going to do now? <laughs> just miss with that jab. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. Both fighters landing in these exchanges. Judge is going to have a tough job. Well, Johnny, has anything surprised you here as we enter the final frames of this bout? This can be so frustrating when you're in the such a fast fighter. Fast fighter that can throw three, four shot combinations before you even let one off. That creates frustration, and that's when it gets hard. The big Ukrainian in big trouble.
this next round is going to be crucial considering the knockdown we just witnessed. I love the response though. Got back up, took a deep breath and thought, right. And there's the bell to start the round. Let's see how he bounces back here after getting dropped in the last round. Oh, listen to me. If I knock somebody down like that, that round, you know this round coming up? He's getting everything, everything full battle because I know his legs are gone. So this, you watch what's going to happen. If he doesn't, I'll be very, very surprised. That big hook doesn't land. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. There's no way this fighter can go punch for punch. Their resistance to these blows just isn't the same. Because you've got a good chin doesn't mean you've got leather skin. It means you can still get caught. So you've got to go for those pointed areas over the eyebrow, the cheekbone. You've just got to try and cut them skimming. Go for speed. Good fight so far. Both of these fighters have had their moments. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Just like a match made in heaven. <laughs> Some of the best action I've seen in any round anywhere this year. Both men step back for just a moment. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. <coughs> Very close round with 10 seconds to go. As bad as boxing judging can be sometimes, we're hoping for an all-action slugfest. They've got all the momentum on their side after that last round. Let's see what they do here. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last run, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. There's nothing quite like a big heavyweight fight. Everything just, oh my, the Ukrainian has been rattled. Many people would have predicted it, but we've got a knockout victory. Accuracy, power, punch, perfect. That must hurt.